let's get right into it. It's not coincidental. These are all real people. Shit, immediately clowning. Oh dear low. Boy. Wow, hi Will, how's it going? This is going to be awesome. Nope, still dead. Nothing else we can do for her. I really like the menu <laughs> for this game. Oh, they used to use the yellow crush tape for this. I've got cheap hologram technology, I can do the job even better. When we use the little fashioned yellow tape. Wow, fancy. These packages are crowded. Horse from the merry-go-round. It looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. The park was already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Hmm. So you say? It's a bunch. 
thing. I was almost best girl, boss's best girl. Wow, okay. Fucking panda. Panda ride looks lonely. Okay, it's nice that the that's a different um things I've already selected becomes uh oh I can see something else up here. Okay, hold on. It comes dimmed out after I read the thing. That makes sense because yeah, it looks like definitely just save up something. More skewered horses. Wow, lovely. Like an enormous eye staring down at you. Very ominous. I do have to say. Alright, let's talk to the boss lady who's the best girl apparently. This stuff is still great, I mean, he has more to say on it. Yeah. That's what I figured. Look, I call her boss. From a special branch of the... Oh, I can move the camera around, that's nice. Actually, I'm at the police. I report directly to her. Um. Uh, found the body. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. I like the people choose something that interests you, you might obtain more information or clues. Hmm. Are you serious? You're Special Agent Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Oh, no. Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? Oh. She didn't elaborate. A mystery is already afoot. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Hmm. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. is dead. Dante, what are you gonna do? Noisy kids getting caught on this machinery. Yeah, it happens all the time. Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Okay. Oh. I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. <laughs> it's Kagami, sir. Not yet, sir. Wow. Very helpful. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. It's Kagami, sir. K 
Kagami. Are you serious? It's Kagami! <laughs> Angry boy. I'm pretty sure I know what that You told me already. Name is, uh, what was it again? <laughs> hey, what'd you say your name was? Hey. Hello? <laughs> hey, I know you can hear me, Kagami. So you do know my name. <laughs> like how the boss came to look at me. <laughs> Amazing. Damn, eight years and this whole music park is still here. That sounds kind of typical, actually. This would rough her to turn right on and off. Not in. Look at everything, maybe. At least around the merry ground. Now let's look at it. Oh, I can look at a pole. Hell yeah. Where is it? Metal pole. Wow, amazing. Step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? Come on. <laughs> you haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. Saiba. What's your destination as? Eyeball. The eyeball. The artificial intelligence of my fake eye and the eye for an eye. <laughs> yeah. Allow well, me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Playing through the story of a special vision mode may help you obtain the information. This is in lots and large targets. Oh, oh I can still look around. We had eyeballs already checking. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. Big cry. I knew her. I know. Remember that I also saw her several times. Though it has been quite some time since we last saw her. Can't look at her face anymore at all. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Uh, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Really? Impossible. The that cleanly indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive. Correct. The eyeball has also not been recovered from the scene. So the killer took it with them. That is highly likely. 
Why would they do that? Mm, delicious eyeballs. I believe Get a the answer to those kinds of questions is your job, Special Agent Fate. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. My own second. Jesus Christ. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Yeah, I should probably take off autoplay. Oh, there's like a... I have a lot of stomping around upstairs, like, literally shaking the fucking kitchen. Well, we gotta be living under some crazy ass people, man. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? You little raccoon! Dutton, oh no. Use me to see through the column. Utilize the x-ray mode. Oh shit, got x-ray on this thing too? Oh god, it's a midget. Oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. Put down my umbrella, ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! No one cares, Skyblue. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. Open that shit up. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. Holy shit. That's a nice ass gun. Futuristic revolver. Oh god, it's she okay. did it. Well, case closed. <laughs> you found the killer. Everyone can go home. Yep, straight to jail. No need to study the scene of the crime. No investigator work, nada. You're tripping balls, dude. But God, the logic. What is this place? This is your dream. I'm me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? Whoa. Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. What the fuck is this dance? Right, 
Who are you? I'm uh -huh. me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. Hmm. Brain is cooperating. Head's all fuzzy. I'm sleeping. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Oh shit, Zephyto. Somnium scan, activate. Oh shit, it's just that it one part of the title of the game. What? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have your encountered several world. mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest resources of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. Oh boy. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true, but... Alright, let's do this. Oh boy. The wake this bitch up. Okay. Ooh. A door locked with a padlock. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Huh. What the fuck? Hmm. I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! <laughs> Date, look at that. Places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what Jeffrey, to tell you. But I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnia. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto.
Oh, the uh, plan on the wall. Let's go check it out. Oh, two things. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Grab. It's remarkably solid. I can hardly believe it's a plant. Hmm. It's symbolic of my lifestyle. Put your roots down, stand your ground. Or perhaps it just means you are an inconvenient annoyance. You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. A winter iris. Smell that shit. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. <laughs> Never. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Big sniff. What? Amazing suction. <laughs> what? Marvelous. Experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams. <laughs> what in the fuck? The big suck. Thanks, like that, did you? No. How could I have fucking expected that? The thorns are gone. Now I can activate the switch. I got more ghosts. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. <laughs> hmm. A basket. I cannot see inside it. Tackle. <laughs> Ow, that hurt my shoulder. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked you to do that. Now you have to shoulder that burden. <laughs> Was that a pun? <laughs> Christ. I fucking love this. A model of a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It huh. is a trending topic. Anyone can bring countered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. Pocket the this dollar is bill. This different than a cult. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Oh, uh, kick. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. <laughs> uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? <laughs> No, I'm still out of A glass of wine. Uh, give it a big sniff again. Hmm. The nose is fresh yet rich. I detect smooth tannins and stone fruits. Where did you learn that from? Why would you have something like this in your dream? 
Even a guy like me enjoys good drinks and better company. But these social engagements never seem to turn out well for you. Stop. Don't remind me. What? <laughs> a glass of water. Leave it to me. Oh boy. Hey. <sighs> I feel kind of good. Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. <laughs> A skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Uh, talk to it. To the skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Iba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Hey, don't ignore me. <laughs> Stupid bony man. Bony Your man. Is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. <laughs> Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> a skeleton. Hit it. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi. Nice. Good punch. What? Black oh look. shit. The wall. You fucked it up. Whoa. Ah! Oh no, I fucked. Don't die. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? <laughs> Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. An item in Sony. There's always one somewhere. A little more. Any more I'm stuffed. What? What? Mmm, delicious eyeball. Well, let's say, can I just fall off? A door locked with a padlock. Tackle! I don't think force is going to solve this. Although I admit, I thought it would work in your dream. What do you mean by that? I am saying that you have a horrendous case of muscle brain. Do not! I am very smart! <laughs> I don't want to get out of this dream now. Oh, that tastes good. A and I will. came out of the skull? It that, you know. won't go off? It should be fine. Just don't point it towards your fucking head. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. <laughs> a door locked with a padlock. Shoot it. Leave it to me. There are two kinds of people in the world. Those who open doors. Just pull the trigger. <laughs> You got lucky. A door locked with a. 
put the key in there. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> just the tip. Nice. I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping us escape. <laughs> okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. Good. I'll open it. Who is that guy? Why is he being so strange? Oh. What the fuck? What does that mean? Some trippy stuff, man. Not gonna lie. <coughs> wow, what's Will's favorite character? She got them. Good morning, thighs. I was waiting for you. Time to look around the office. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. Training. This is a lot of junk in here. So nice. Boy band. Uh, yep. They're all my husbands. Uh huh. <laughs> what the hell are those? That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge oh. face. That's very spooky. Why is there so much junk in there? That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh, yeah? How much? Ten billion yen. Ten. What are you in elementary school? <laughs> oh yeah, the, uh, I love the music so far in this game. This is a pretty good track too. The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like you and me. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. Oh. familiar with the murder case at the resort called the Spur? Why 
Why is there just a curtain up here too? Happy birthday. Pumpkins too. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? <laughs> Sorry, it was funnier in my head. Got a point. Boss for her horrible, horrible hoarder mentality. <coughs> Why do you have this? So, if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, fair enough. Cleanly floor, not gonna lie. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Huh. Deep. For like, why? Why? So many masks. Mario. What about Mario? Tombstone. Rip. Yeah. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. Oh my god. He's a I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. Most <laughs> I worry about most mental. I was wondering why you said fucking Mario, like who? Bottles in front of the tombstone. Oh man, I don't like luck though. Oh, okay, well, I selected it. Me, Mario. Nice to meet you. He talks? Oh, shit. He's alive. Slightly. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh. How do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Wow. That's interesting. The girls is going to the... To volleyball. Hmm. So Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. Hmm, when I was a jock, I see. Interesting. That whole thing is a flag? Holy shit, that's a massive flag. I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. Oh. <laughs> Always means my boss doesn't really make anything sound dirty. I'm sure she does it on purpose. Probably. I think I looked at everything. Oh, you think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to ten square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. 
<laughs> Amazing. I think I looked at everything. Well, I fuck to the ball. Things in this room, even I missed that you're saying. Like what? What did you miss? I think I got. Oh, symbols. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. <laughs> wine glass for example oh, okay you get the yeah it's really hard to see these things I'm surprised you're even able to look at them because they're so tiny mm. oh what's that broom it's trying to select it it's so tiny it's so hard to fucking select it <laughs> I'm mashing X. Oh okay, god, well, that was for nothing. Okay. I think that's everything. No, wait, wait, wait. Vent. Stop ogling me. I am not ogling you. <laughs> Text changes every time we come back to a place too. Oh, after talking with someone, something like that. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. Suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Oh, so that's why. <laughs> so much junk everywhere and so many. Uh, yeah, like celebration. Shit. All the Halloween mess. What's now if I. That probably didn't activate anything. Yeah, probably not. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? One that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you Probably said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Hmm. Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, my boss? Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. <laughs> What's up from memory disorder? Oh. What does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, uh, so, nothing to report then. Got it. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. 
Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P, my lips are sealed. <laughs> but why, boss? It's top secret, classified. Was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. Damn. Give it a rest, Date. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. <laughs> this isn't harassment <laughs> or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. Whoa. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. <laughs> can detect your thoughts, remember. <laughs> Thank you for your input, Iva. <laughs> Just promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's a delicate issue, even more delicate than my patience. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? Dang. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? You didn't hear it in this dialogue, like, well, all of that? Oh, I guess you, um... Oh. Why did you go, like, hit the... The right dialogue choices to, like, proceed the scene or something? So you skip the other potential dialogue? Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No, she just lives with me. Oh, she's a baby. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. It's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. 
Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Oh. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. Wow, well, imagine not having a phone. That's amazing. The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. You should have a location by now. Nope. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. <coughs> it is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. They may have even been the killer. Sick backflip, not gonna lie. Hello! No, not hello! I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. for five oh, years. Okay. You know who I am. Oh yeah, there we go. You are a handsome looking man. Oh, no, stop it. <laughs> are you okay, Dante? Perhaps it's time for his medication. <laughs> who are you? My name is Konami Date. I work as a special agent for the investigation squad Abyss at MPD. Hello, me. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Yeah, just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. Getting a lot of exercise lately. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> Five years since we first met. I got called a picture on my computer and I drew a show to me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, 
From today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Yeah, then phone runs and now because us wireless communication network pack is all on the computer. So I suck as we can make it through an artificial nerf in my brain. Let's just talk about IP speaking. That's pretty handy, not gonna lie. About I. I've been thinking a lot lately, about myself, if I have another mind inside me, am I really me? Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote, I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself, that's the point. Hey, so, about my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. <laughs> hey, what does love mean to you? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? <laughs> you dork. That hurts, you know. Oh. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. <laughs> I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? Oh. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? <laughs> not cute at all. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, no. Bloom Park. Point Thus, total. I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Pokemon trainer looking at SNES, I have a for tutorials too.
Oh yeah, it's cute. Oh hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Oh heavens, no! I is my boy? I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. Cutest grandma in anime history, oh boy. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Oh. Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita. Before I, we yeah. talk, could I make a request? Mm. I thought that was a could grandmother. Could you put that knife down, please? Oh, oh she... goodness! I didn't sorry, even know she was holding a knife. Does her shirt say "fucking hipster" on it? Amazing. Meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Is that oh. right? Never heard of that before. You think that thing gets any channels? Unlikely. I do not <laughs> detect any tuners or antennas. Is there? He's cute. You have zero standards, Konami Date. But... percent of the time she does not allow me to pet her but then sometimes she's like oh, okay fine that is the autograph of Uruka from Dark Zone Kalimas who some movie salt pepper a blend of red cayenne and spices and an unidentified liquid it says Mayumi's black sauce A large jellyfish. <laughs> sure, it's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. <laughs> Special jellyfish. I like how we can literally just look at every single thing in this room. Like, I barely even saw those disposable chopsticks on the table. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. That's a There's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me.
Zoom in him. Family photo, huh? Mayumi and Ota, when they were younger. The other person appears to be Ota's father. I barely tell him to without the face. a little while ago any idea what's inside it it's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus she forces Oda to buy them I know it what what are my parents that I buy weep shit That's literally just straight up Amazon an Amazon package. Wow. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads solid model. Hmm. We should look inside. Use the X-ray mode. that anime now what is this a solid PVC model of a person known as a figure something's written on the base the letters appear to be some kind of metal the permeability of x-ray vision should make them legible a set Allow me to investigate. Oh. A moment, please. Hmm, big thunk. I have to go back to that. This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. You reached pretty far back for that reference. Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. Hmm. Wish there was a thing like a dang and rumpa where you could just you press a button to see everything. That's you just can the calendar. <laughs> Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> Big long. The year is wrong, too. Imagine. Time without telling me. This is nothing new. No. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? 
Oh, right, yes. Went to buy some murder. Oh, shit. Case closed. The riddle has been solved. <laughs> Pack your bags, boys. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband. But it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kabasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Uh oh. Big thong. Oh, about 30 years now. Holy we shit. had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but back then everyone was willing to lend you money. Troopers. Oh boy. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, look. What was it? It's just a straight up Pokemon it's trainer. It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Exactly. Ota wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. Oh? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Oh, because there's a goddess there. Goddess? Uh, what? Ota <laughs> says it all the time. A goddess. More weave. like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. More like You'll see what a I mean. bitch. Well? Yes. Not too. That good for nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not Witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the Witch. No, no way. I'm getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You wow. can abandon this line of questioning, Date. <laughs> Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Okay. Call. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Wow. Wow, I'm... <laughs> Date, I've found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnusgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnusgate. Lemnusgate? Renju owns that company. Correct. 
Oh. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemniscate ring a bell? Oh, yes. That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. Now we're gonna build something. The Lemnus So far, I love are you the, the two main leads. Who are you? I'm from the MPD. The police? Oh boy, time to take a look around the room. Two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. <laughs> so far, a sofa. A sofa. That's a sofa. I need that magazine. Only five ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety five. On sale now. Discussion about your obsession with insects. No, she just likes the tiny That is a high school. A high school? No, Dante. <laughs> It's a huge breast sitting beside behind the desk. Oh my. No, <laughs> no, this has a huge breast sitting. This is a huge breast. Huge breast. Breast. <laughs> there are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Amazing. <laughs> What is that supposed to be? I do not know. Date is a horny motherfucker. What does that even lead up? Oh, that's so weird. Hey, Iva. What do you think would happen if I flipped this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're uh, probably right. Guess I won't. <laughs> can I reach box? over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> So destructive, holy shit. Um, 
Put here, look at me. No, I'm kind of busy right now. Not. Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? Hmm. Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about the screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 oh, of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Got em. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Punch him! Date, wait. <laughs> Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Now what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Huh. Listen to me, Date. More medicine. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Does Tessa refer to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname oh, no for her. Pinkle. That means Mato has to be Ota. Optical protein Correct. fiber. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Ota God. is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. Christ. Motherfucker. Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two Witter. Nah, uh, Witter. Uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG. Are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Hmm. I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Oh shit, you're right. I forgot about the menu or the bios.
Did one of you bitches knock something down? You gotta hurt something to fall over. He just likes dirty jokes going outside the simulation. Thinks outside of something that I saw when he's thinking of like mischief. No. I'm down to the old shop since all. Studies martial arts and enjoys emotionally attacking Dante. The potential suspect. Likes unusual things, dislikes the uh, ordinary things. Oh, work. It's like someone who hurt her in a pound. He was lying and cheating. Oh boy. Just like the witches, everything that witch does. <laughs> Families, ex boyfriends, director, decluttering and organizing. Wow. Unfortunately, cannot use it to see panties. Wow, I'm magging. No freaking trust with him, buddy.
Oh shit, the gun. Nice. God, why are these so fucking good? I need to stop eating these fuckers. What I need now is a big drink. I hope the connection can reach me from over here, but yeah, I'll mean, continue their conversation while I go get Sprite. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Yes. Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey everyone! Uh, this guy... <laughs> okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't God. you think all those comments hurt her feelings? Even Imagine if how many her? people do this in real life. But in the end, I made it so Fucking everyone became hundreds. her fans and got along and... That's not the point. I'm sorry. Just Hundreds don't do it people. again, okay? And the fun and it's the funniest thing when they fucking when those same people fuck up and they don't forget to switch accounts. So then, yeah. <laughs> so then their facade easily you can see like, hey, what the fuck is this bullshit? Kind of a loser. Very much a loser. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Oh. Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemnisgate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. Hmm. She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, Kinda the weird. Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Yeah. Well, what am I supposed to call it? That's kind of weird. Please stop. Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. <laughs> Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. You post spam. So, spam anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Hmm. Around 8:10 last night, I'm deviant art, no I less. got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted oh, to meet yeah. me at Bloom Park. Maximum she sounded traction. scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but. It said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Hmm. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. No oh boy.
<laughs> fucking left her like a fucking loser. Fuck. Did you leave her there? You left a 12 year old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. Oh. I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the yeah. rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. What a piece of shit. <laughs> The goddess. And you are? Mr. Dante from the MPD. He came here Fucking to ask me about what happened last night. <laughs> you mean a detective? Detective before. It's like, oh God, why? Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Is something the matter? No, nothing. <laughs> Gamer girl senses are tingling. He's like, uh uh, don't want none of that. Spam the look option. Oh hmm? boy. Something wrong. You aren't even blinking. Oh no. Come on, I'm shy. You're embarrassing me. Oh, he's getting pissed off. Oh. Are you... are you a fan of mine? <laughs> he just gives us an angry look. Okay, now I'm getting a little creeped out. You can stop staring now. Go crazy. Okay. Let me confirm something. You're A set, right? Let's play a game. Shadows! Um, thread? Silhouette? A set. Fears! Uh, upset? Regret? A set. Water! Wet? Sweat? A set. <laughs> Yay! A set, you bet! The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave at once. <laughs> I agree. I turned 18 this year. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't, Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? <laughs> wow. 
relationship? Burr like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop! You're making me blush! Uh... This guy... No. <laughs> about the side puppeting. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winner. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. <laughs> oh man. Can I look at it? A gawk or a chef gaze. Gee, Tessa. You always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff. You know? Mm. Bad touch. Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He yeah. told her about a dead body he found for attention? <laughs> exactly. Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. Oh. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Can you tell me much of anything from the thing of it? So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Ota Stop was telling it. me. The corpse was no strung way. up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Take a video. 
Just do it! Mr. Tate! Please, Mr. Tate! You can't leave me! What? I can't! <laughs> Oh, this fucking bitch! What are you doing? Oh! Ocha, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah! Awful! This hoe! This fucking hoe! I can't believe <laughs> this fucking Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... <laughs> oh, damn. Not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. <laughs> yeah? Right, back to the scene of the crime. For my finale. Oh, you baby. Oh my god, you're gonna give me a bite? Oh, wow. So rude, Muffin. How could you? Oh, this is cool. Hey, you got any guns in here? <laughs> I bet you do. No, not in there. So you do have a gun. <laughs> Look. Very close for an idol and a fan. Ota is special. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, huh?
You are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! <laughs> You doing? Just thinking about posting that video. <laughs> Whoa, hold up now. <laughs> well then tell me. Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs, and dances, and play video games and stuff on stream. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. I've been focusing is a lot on that game lately. Minecraft? What about being on TV? Not very popular Fucking yet. Minecraft I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Can't believe this. <laughs> well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. But anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office. And he hooked me up. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. <laughs> I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble, too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Uh, what? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. Excuse me? <laughs> Just kidding! Oh. I hope so. Anyway, oh, I'm not shit. going down without a fight. So I will Jinx release yourself. that video if you don't cooperate. That's the word. I'm part of a special investigation unit like known that. as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? Excuse me. 
You Konami Date. That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Oh boy, I can look at everything again. Makes me kind of angry for some reason. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. What the Where fuck is, is wrong with you? And a black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. Oh wow. That a dang on Rumpa. <laughs> Reference. Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. Mm. But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you, making that reference? I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. Oh shit, I click on the pole again. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, I know what you're thinking, Mr. Date. You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> wow. That's some shakes in my head. Stripping. I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They oh, conducted shit. their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. <laughs> that's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it. Huh. When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. 
the government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. We can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they... okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off-limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Is she right in front of my eyes? Huh? Mm. The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horace, right? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Mm. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly! The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? Not really. <laughs> I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah... Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw? Yeah. Why? Interesting. When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Tinazuki? She pulled it out. Show me the earliest recorded <clears throat> images of the scene of the crime. What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. Me. Deep Shred be like, she's holding the murder weapon, the tater! <laughs> yeah, though. murdered on the horse.
Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. All these local cops. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on! Just a little longer. No, I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay. You all right? Are you okay? Morning sickness. What? I'm kidding. It's oh. not like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Stop being weird, you fucking gamer girl. stuff always gets beat up when you put it in here don't you wish they could make these things a little nicer you know I'm feeling kind of bored seriously hmm <laughs> anything else to look at no Oh my god, there's a woman in the back seat! <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. <laughs> Mr. Dante! Hm, you're a meanie! A meanie, huh? Meanie, meanie, Bobini. <laughs> Banana fan of Fofini? Fee Fi Momini? Meanie. <sighs> Can't believe I remember that silly rhyme. <laughs> That tastes great. Missed this dialogue too. Dang. Imagine missing dialogue. <laughs> oh, uh, horrible. Shame. Oh, you should worry about me more. Yeah, I hate, like, yeah, some games you just have to. Be very like, like insisted on getting, like, combing the environment for every little thing, or else you're gonna miss. Even like some tiny stuff, like that. Even if yeah, you already clicked on it before. Looks like you're feeling you know? better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? <laughs> I would put it right back where it came from. <laughs> Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, humidity 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hey, Date. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D-cups. Hey, watch Whoa. it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? 
It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already. I don't want to hang out with you anymore. Cyrus. Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Who is this mystery woman? She dead or she not dead? Shot. She's she walked off the gun wound. Boy, time to do another sweep of everything. What they smell like. You are beyond perverted. You fucking. Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? Nasty boy. Are you in defeat? Is that what you're trying to say, Dante? I saw the catalog before, so I should know. Bookshelf. Another mysterious object. Oh, hey. Yeah, this is the, the apartment from the dream. Nothing in the bookshelf. So weird. We could always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. It's not a divining table. Divine. Date, a riddle. How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? What? Hmm. The solution is this. You open the door, put the giraffe in, and close the door. 
kind of a riddle is that? <laughs> Another riddle. How do you put an elephant in the refrigerator? Isn't it the same answer? Open the door, put it in, close the door. Incorrect. The giraffe is already inside. You must remove the giraffe before you put the elephant inside. That is the solution. The oh. riddles could use some work. Oh my god. I should use that on fucking Lolly when she gets home from work. I, would I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. I was they bloomed just life. this morning. Oh, yeah. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Size a gamer girl. Oh no. Oh. Oh, my baby. <sighs> I smell like a motherfucking. Oh. How was your day? It was a day. I got out pretty fast though. Yeah. It was pretty decent time. That Chinese food gave me the shit. So I don't want to eat there for a while. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> their food really isn't that good. It's just that they're close by. Yeah, they're close and they're decently priced. But did I not have a save file this entire time? Okay. Well, it was pretty cool from what I've played so far, pretty funny. Can't wait to see what else happens in the game. Well, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you all next time. You're my being. Yeah. Have a good night, Will. <laughs>